Hey guys, Happy New Year. So we began a career with Chelsea with our goal being to bring it back to its glory days. Fast forward to five years later, and we got our dream team. Unfortunately, we already got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. No worries though, because we still have a chance to win the treble. Yes, it's a close contest, but one I think they just about deserve. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Welcome to episode two of Chelsea Manager Career Mode. We're now in 2029 and we begin our FA Cup campaign. Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And Plymouth get a penalty early in the this second half, and Koble saves it. The game didn't have much which ends in a draw. An and officially, even when all is said and done, nothing to separate the two sides over 90 minutes. This is followed by another draw against the Wolves in the PL. We face Plymouth for the replay, and I'm going to risk this and sim it. Look at that, we win. Another win in the FA against Bristol. Back to the PL and we face City at home. We know what happened in the first leg. Cutting the ball back. Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. Oh, what an opportunity! It's still alive! Has someone to play it to. In position. That's a very fine piece of tackling. <laughs> and it ends in a goalless draw. It's a share of the points here, but no goals on the scoreboard. Stuart, your overall assessment. Deadline day, and we don't need any player, so we'll skip this. As we head for Riverside Stadium, we are leading in the PL table. And we get another win versus Middlesbrough. What? We just lost Vlahovic on a free transfer. How did I miss renewing his contract? More bad news as we take a big L against Villa. UCL night in Milan. A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Ross. So the initial... Araujo's header puts us in the lead. And now they can celebrate! Deep in the second half, Vlahovic finds Fofana. He finishes it. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. And that is that, the final whistle. It's advantage Chelsea going into the return leg of this time. Just before we face Brighton, I noticed City are now leading the PL table. <sighs> More pints dropped in the PL. City sits at number one with three points ahead of us as we face Spurs in our next fixture. Two London clubs about to face each other, and Chelsea held a 16-year unbeaten league record against Spurs between 1990 and 2006. In recent times... It's a goal for West Ham. They're the first on the score sheet here with fifth... Must take the lead here. Somehow, Broja manages to put the ball behind the net. Has been coming. Trying to deliver Araujo's superheader puts us further ahead. What a player he is. To two overall, that little bit of a cushion. Now it's... We take away the three points against Spurs. This match to an end, and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? 
This is followed by another win versus Hull City in the FA Cup. We get another win versus Leicester in the PL. Yet another win in the second leg versus Milan. We are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside... Wooden two wingers. So oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! Oh, fine stop. Jaden Sancho. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Nice. Opportunity here. There it is. What a play from Chelsea and what a goal from Acosta. He is definitely going to be in Kunku's hair in that CAM position. United get a chance to get on level terms, but the keeper saves his pen. Could be threatening. Onana is just equally a fraud in the game. Sancho disrespectfully celebrates a goal against his former bald manager. Easy win for us thanks to Onana and Rashford. And it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects. We're now up against City in the FA Cup. A very agreeable conditions here at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarterfinals. Vlaovic. Happy to shoot. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. So the, the game ends with a 1 0 win for us. Tie, and it's good news for Chelsea fans everywhere because Chelsea are the side to progress. Another win versus Palace in the league. We also get a win versus Newcastle. Our winning streak continues with a win versus Brentford. Unfortunately, our winning streak comes to an end following a defeat versus Roma in the UCL. We go back to winning ways with a win versus Leeds in the PL. We now enter the second leg versus Milan in the CL, but first a press conference to elevate the moods in the dressing room. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with the questions now. That's all we have time for today. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're getting ready for a quarter. Enzo finds Mudrik. do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close. He's still going. And combine as much as possible. Well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And he scores. Oh, now they have their opener and now they can celebrate. Delivering it. Araujo with yet another header in this episode. A huge goal in this tie. As it stands, they will be the ones going through. This win versus Roma means we further proceed in the UCL. Well, it was all very tight, but over the two legs, they just had to... Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-finals next. Hello, and here we are today underneath the Wembley Arch at one of the most instantly recognisable venues in the football world. My name is Derek Ray. Oh, it could be an open in position to give them the lead. We go ahead early in the game. The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? What a ball from Madueka to Sancho. And slipped through beautifully. Could be. Sancho scores. It's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Could pull one back here. 
Their attackers are so bad, Ramsdale had to score for them. Maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equalizer. It would be we proceed to the finals in the FA Cup. For full time, Chelsea ascend to the final. Well, it was far from easy at times. They'll certainly know they've been in a match today. But... Well, the rain has been lashing down in the build-up to the game, and it's still lashing down here at Anfield. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside... In the early minutes, we get a pen. This to make it 1-0. Vlahovic scores. And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. Liverpool get a chance pen. to equalise here. And they miss. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. Vlahovic's penalty was enough to get us the three points. This match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was a really tight... Look at that. City dropped points and we're now in the lead with five games to go. We maintain our league position with a win versus Nottingham Forest. We're now up against Arsenal in the CL. How did they get this far? A warm welcome. Blue is the color. Football is the game as the old song used to go. We're here at Stamford Bridge tonight in West London. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with a... Firing it towards goal. Oh, and it goes! Arsenal take the lead with a goal from who this guy is. Final, a long way from being decided, but it could be telling. We get a chance to go on level terms in the second half, but Vlahovic misses. And just like that, we lose to Arsenal in the first leg. At Stamford Bridge. Yeah, that was a tight game, and I think they just about deserve their lead but it's a slender one, and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to... We go back to winning ways with a win versus his Sheffield. Second leg, and we can't let this club beat us. Delivering it. Araujo's header puts us in the leader. Super Araujo. An early opening statement in this match, and look at the celebrations. Enzo de Caicedo and our 200 million midfield duo gets us a goal. That could make all the difference. They'll be determined not to lose this lead. We are in the CL final. Three blows for full time. Chelsea ascend to the final. More good news as we beat Southampton and West Ham in the PL. Oh God, not them again. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young. And it's the final game of the PL. No worries, though. I think we've already won this. Unless we lose this game and City scores more than seven goals. We only have three games left. The PL final game, the FA Cup final, and the UCL final. Okay, our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And today could be... Gallagher. And the referee says penalty. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. This to open the scoring here. WTF Sunday. We get one final chance to win this game, and we do. What a goal from Vlahovic. We are going to miss this guy. Well discover that that goes into the history books with the title beckoning. We win the PL, guys. get to relax a bit and enjoy having the At long last, the wait is over. 
A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Burnley taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this. We get a penalty in the Derek FA Cup finals, and of course, Vlahovic scores. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Another pen, but Vlahovic gets too caught. To make it 2-0. Burnley get a pen late in the game, and these freaks score. Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Extra time wasn't enough, and we head to penalties. And so the penalty shootout about to commence, and as a player, in it goes. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. What a save by well, Colby. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. Well, dead centre with that penalty. top corner outrageous another save by Koble he's been so important for us and Kunku to give us the win Bruh. and you've got to say that was a wild penalty attempt almost intolerable pressure Koble wins it for us I love this man the FA Cup is ours. Contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. There's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. UCL Finals. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. Mbappe puts PSG in the lead. And it has arrived, the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Mbappe. They try to get another goal, but Koble saves it. Full time! Parisian pride shines. I can't through. believe it, but we PSG lose the CL to PSG. Cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got to be brought to an end Congratulations! Soon, as they save for the moment with their supporters. <laughs> and they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here. And that's it for our 2028-2029 season. We got to win the PL, the FA Cup, and the Super Cup. We go again next season as we want to win the remaining cups, the CL and the FA Cup. We can go for the Community Shield as well.